guys I'm looking to buy a black shoe like this I don't know what they're called but just this like something like this but that it's black and this red is also nice so especially with this my outfit <laughs> it feels like Christmas I'm looking at myself um yeah I want to buy something I want to buy black because this outfit that I'm wearing now for instance I'm just coming back from church I could have just worn you know something like this I don't have this like I don't have and it's very strange because I feel like this is something every lady should have, especially in this Canada or in the abroad, but I don't have. Let me see if I can get black. I'm not sure I like this black. Ooh. I'm not sure I like this black. But I think it could do. Let's try it. Guys, so I found these two. Now I'm confused. I kind of like this one. Like I like the the texture the yeah the texture this one is suede right but i like this one but i wanted heels like i don't know i'm sure confused let's see I wanted to say something before I go inside. So I was saying that this hair makes me look like Pastor Mildred with this turtleneck. Don't lie, I'll put the picture on here. With this turtleneck and this hair, I look like, not the jacket, but I look like Pastor Mildred, okay? <laughs> Tell the truth in the comment section. <laughs> liner the one i usually use i just found out it's finished and i just remembered that i usually get it from dollarama in edmonton but now i have to get something to serve in the meantime if i don't get something here i'll get in walmart because i'm going there right after this one's a pants they don't have panty liner in this dollar store now wow I literally didn't find the stuff I needed so we'll just go to dollar store um that's the dollar store to Walmart what do I want to get this here? let me check my list yeah I'm looking for camisole I might get that on Sheen but I need to get to Walmart to buy something so let us go what was all this load in my pocket Life of a content, a content creator. <laughs> I have batteries and stuff packed in my pocket. Okay, let's go before I go home to cook rice and plantain. <laughs> Your typical, um, typical Nigerian son. Uh oh, Nigerian Sunday food. Eh? Obara Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Lushola.
Jehu girl, you have to be calculative. Six dollars forty-eight, three dollars twenty-nine. Should be is the same lining. Is it not the same thing to line? This one is for tongues. Mm, let's buy this one. One twenty. So this is a good buy. This one would have been good because I don't need much, but it's three dollars. I mean, it's forty. It's long. I prefer this one. So this is a good buy. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. Guys, if I got a nickel for every time I've had to tell someone that I'm not ready for marriage, I'd be a millionaire by now. Like, and I'm talking from like friends to like even toasters, <laughs> like people that come to you and all of that. And sincerely, I am preparing. So let me put the disclaimer. I am preparing for marriage. I love marriage. I am going to marry and I will marry right according to the script, the scripture of God, the book, the Bible, um, and the God that I serve. I'm going to marry right. That one is established, the standard, right? However, in terms of like a now thing, I'm not ready for marriage. And I keep telling people, and it's it almost seems insane because remember the culture we're from, I'm from Nigeria, and every time, you know, look at your age. I'm in my 30s. And in fact, you should have been ready at 25. While I'm on, you know, <laughs> online, and I really do love and I'm happy for people. There's just, there's just this knowing in you, right? And it's between me and God. I don't know how best to put this thing because, you know, a few years ago, I feel like, okay, I don't want this to be all over the place. I feel like people have not fully come to the understanding of waiting and um the essence of wholeness like being whole as a single being as an entity people just think that it's just okay man meet woman woman like man let us go <laughs> it's not like that and particularly even for kingdom marriage because i'm a kingdom person like i want to do it according to the scripture you see that love a uh, man love woman submit that is that is it you know i want my marriage to be an example um of marriages you know for people to to what's the word to desire to inspire people you know others so i'm not i feel like choosing is very crucial there's a place of healing you know from past trauma there's a place of you know subtle fear there's a place of it still has to do with the the healing and all of that but you know god is helping me in that aspect but then there's the place of understanding your path understanding your purpose i feel like i've never started on this purpose journey to not even think of who to follow you know who would lead me on that journey because you have to first start now on your own path and it's a little bit of annual runness okay i don't know how to explain it i need to get clearer like i would be more open about it eventually but i'm just saying that as of now mm, i tell people see this marriage this thing called marriage kingdom marriage and doing it the god's way because i read comments a few days ago and there was one lady that was like, oh, I ain't submitting. Someone was saying something and, and the person, like a few people, they were like, I ain't submitting to no man that, you know, that doesn't love me. That one ridiculous stuff. Sis, he ain't gonna love you all the time. He's not going to act, he's not going to act lovable. He's not going to act submissive, submissiveable. <laughs> like, you're not going to feel like, right? But it is first following Christ, following God you know and that is what a lot of us i've seen you know quite a number of people have not fully come to the fullness of you being a single being a whole being that you are healed you know mentally your mindset shift you're following scripture even as a single person you're forgiving you're working on your bad character you're not um you're not keeping malice you know so many things anger issues that you have to deal with as a being before you even enter the the institution of marriage and then also the place of capacity building building capacity spiritually mentally in fact that spiritually emphasis on spiritually because hmm, it's a warfare like like my pastor King says i've got afghanistan i've got afghanistan you're going to war <laughs> okay not in the deep sense like okay physically but i mean there's so many things life already has its own thing and then you're going to marry into god knows what you know <sighs> And then you just see you're just going blindly. And that starts from being single. Like you're working on your spiritual life even from when you're single. You're having a structure in place that 
you know that you've grown you're growing right building capacity in that aspect spiritually and um, mentally um you know reading books um gaining knowledge about the topic about the institution about the way god wants it wants it and designed it and not just following what people and um yeah financially hey you're not going to speak in tongues in the children's school even when god wants to bless you hmm God wants to bless you. The amount you take in, you uh, the amount the month you marry, you take in. And you are still there still trying to figure out, okay, while I'm not saying, it's not a casting stone, right? Because I've seen, I've heard of people, you know, that say they didn't have anything, they got married, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's direction, path and leading is different, okay? So it's not a general thing. Because it happened for A, doesn't mean it's the story for B or that should be the norm. Everybody has their work with God, okay? So... That's where I have a problem because when people start comparing, uh, this person, I know this person that this, 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 do you not think that's a pattern or that's how it is with everybody? It's not true. So you have to be wise. Me, I'm developing myself. I'm working on myself. I'm preparing towards that phase because I know it's a phase and it's a phase that I know would actually end soon, right? Like I'm sensing it, but I don't know how to just explain it. Shout that emphasis on that preparation, preparation, preparation on every aspect because it's once. This thing, I don't know about others, but my own is once. Once and for all. Once in that life, in this lifetime that we have come. <laughs> I don't have power. <laughs> so, I mean, choosing is crucial. Um, praying is crucial. And being sensitive, you know, discerning is crucial. And I'm seeing, I mean, I know that quite a number of you can relate because we love it. We desire it. So we know it will happen. It's not, it's not a thing of, oh, I don't want to marry. No, it's not that type. It's that we have not gotten there yet. If I were 25 or when I was 25, like because the society, oh, your biological clock, oh, this, the, 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 the fam rests, rests. Some people got married and didn't give birth until 40. So what is the bio, this biology we are talking about? Eh? <laughs> okay, but okay, while that I'm not saying that you know you should I personally, if it were up to me, I would have been married by 25. I don't like late marriage, like lateness. I did not want it. You know, if we all had to, if we all could write our script, I would have been married by 25. But alas, I finished school at 25. <laughs> okay. Um, and knowing what I know now. <laughs> If I had married then, God forbid, maybe I would have been out because I did not have sense. I did not have sense. I was not in the right space. I did not know anything. And yet, I think I did have a relationship then. So imagine I had married that person. You know, so it's just, sharp. I don't know. But for me, and I'm also in that place where, because of course, these things, you see God's face concerning it. So it's not like you're just saying that, oh, I'm not ready blindly. It's that we're waiting, but we're waiting for a purpose. And we're waiting on God. And we're waiting on his timing, you know. And if he says, wait, then we're going to wait, of course, with sense, with purpose. We're not just counting time, just wasting time. We're waiting on the Lord and preparing and absorbing and taking in all he wants us to developing and growing in his presence and making sure we're fit and ready for that assignment because hey kingdom marriage is an assignment is an assignment i feel like that's even the fear to be honest when i talk about gamophobia when i think about gamophobia is that fear of god can i really do this sometimes it just feels like ah, proverbs 31 and eh, you know Please, please, please. It just feels like, hey, God, can I really do this? And sometimes when you feel like, okay, maybe you're even a woman of, we should all be, right? A woman of substance, of calling. You have this, you know, something that you are doing as a woman. You are a complete woman. And then you're not going with another complete man. It almost feels like, because it's not about to be explosive in a way that, you know, in a good way, but it's, it also takes wisdom and balancing. You know, a wise woman builds her home. All of that sometimes i'm like god this assignment well thank god for the help of god but that's basically it i hope i didn't ramble too much <laughs> but yeah that's that's it that's where i'm at right now that phase of growing of learning of preparing trust me i'm preparing i'm preparing you know i know <laughs> working on my character working on um building capacity in the place of prayer you know spiritually um discerning um you know everything even culinary <laughs> That's last, last, that one we can outsource because I didn't really knew. Nobody should stress this baby girl. I'm joking, no. <laughs>
but okay <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Okay, but yeah, I mean, just preparing, preparing. I cannot emphasize it enough. And if, if you're in my shoes, like in your, you're in your 30s and you just feel like the pressure is getting worse and you know in your Noah that you're not really ready. I mean, in a way, I feel like there's a balance to it because sometimes you're not ready and then the person comes along that you know that this is the one. So in your not being ready, we also have to be sensitive and discerning when, um, you know, the person that God has sent, like your own, Right? There's no one person and all of that. But I mean, the person that fits into that, that um, position you are preparing for, if you get what I mean, shows up. So you have to be discerning and not say, oh, I'm waiting, I'm, gonna, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. That's not wasting, okay? So there's need to balance and understand times and seasons and knowing that, okay, there is a time for this thing. You're knowing, that your same knowing that knows that you have to wait, you have to pause for now. It's the same knowing, it's the same Holy Spirit that would tell you that, okay, it's time to move. You know, whatever strategy you would now need to be using, like, especially as a lady, you know, being strategically positioned, being prepared, being, you know, all, you know, everything just to more like that root and boas root going to that boas's you know space and you know um what's her name rebecca the well those kind of stuff now being discerning and sensitive all of these things are still part of the things that you have to build while you're growing right while you're waiting on god while you're preparing so yeah understand times and seasons so you know that okay it's time for me to move it's time it's time or it's getting close it's this da, 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 da. and let's be sensitive and be obedient and the lord will help us in jesus name okay so that's what i just wanted to, yeah <laughs> a little bit vulnerable but okay it's okay <laughs> if you're in my shoes if you're in my school of thought that okay this marriage thing especially kingdom marriage you need to prepare, you need to calm down, you need to rest, you need to build capacity financially, mentally, spiritually, um, emotionally, oh, emotionally, because some people are mature babies. We, that, that word doesn't even go because mature should not be in that, in that you know, <laughs> but like they're grown up babies, right? They're adult babies. I don't know how to put it because... You know, that emotion is a small thing. You want to cut people off. That's how, are, that's how cutting off in marriage too used to happen. No, Small thing. You want to cut them off. I can't do this anymore. Like Pastor M will say, beans that we've not started cooking. You already done. Don't wear. So, you know, there's a lot. And see, oh God, this, this, I don't want this to be too long. Let me just chip this in. Like I said, it starts from you being single. And there's a lot happening with this, our generation. And especially from when we're single. You see all this cutting off that we do with friendship. You see all this, I'm going to talk about that in another video. All this cutting off that we do, small thing that, you know, I'm not talking about bad character or like um, toxic friendship. I'm talking about giving space, giving room for people's excesses to an extent, like for people's, what's the word? Weakness, right? It's not wickedness, weakness that, okay, this person has a fault. You know, they are genuinely sorry, all of those things. Not that small thing. You just find somebody's small kidney. And I've had people do that to me and it really hurts. I'm not even going to lie because I'm not perfect, right? And you aren't either. But we are quick to, you do small thing that hurts me like this. I cut you off. What's that? What's that? Somebody that is not willowful, that is not useful for you or to you in the now can be in 10 years from now. You just don't know where you would meet people. So let's be careful because I feel like it's part of that mentality that extends even to marriage that some people are like, oh, more. They already, they already have an escape route for if it doesn't work out. So small behavior, they're already talking about, um, what's that word? Um, deal breaker. Like, small things after my mental health. See, put the, scripture of, the, the scriptures before every other thing. Okay? And we'll all be alright. <laughs> alright, guys. Um, yeah, I'll, let me go and change because I just got back from church and I just thought, let me just quickly do this part. So... I hope you enjoyed it and please please let me hear your comments okay do you think i'm 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 being too extra I, I really don't think well do you think let me know because it's not me i'm asking you so let me know what your thoughts are and yeah thank you many much <laughs> let me wear this my headband that i got from ardine guys i'm moving from this house next this week that we are entering now Oh um, hey, this is my new, my new, oh um, this is it. 
this is my new look. See, nobody should stress me even to church. This is how we go. I will just do corn roll and I'll go and find other colors because so that it won't be as if my front hair. You people know the struggle with this, my front hair. But this is what I'll be wearing now. Eh? This is what I will be wearing. Nobody should stress me. Ah, I will go and find other colors. Just be changing because sometimes we can be tiring. Thank you, Jesus. Eh? Come on. I love this. I've been seeing people wear this thing. I'm like, today I just went to a I'm like, let me just try this. Let me try. And I like it. I will buy other colors. To be honest, this one, I wish Domino's had a short this thing. This one will be going to work because ah, let me not stress this. Okay, but this one too will stress this front heel. You people help me. Yeah, I had that chapter 2000 something skin. It's not on Amazon CA. I want to buy. Let me grow this my front hair. I should have done thumbnail before I pull this my wig go. We're done.